I feel I have been misunderstood in most parts of my life. And I get there are other people out there who feel the same thing. I'm just trying to do a video to like as possible if uh, I can exhaust it. And if you have your own points or you disagree or you have your own opinion, please be nice and put your comments or your opinions in the comment section below. And I'm a single mom. First thing people should know about single moms is that they are not single moms by choice. I don't think anybody just deliberately wake up and say they want to be single moms. But I guess uh, in the third world countries, they're, well, oh I sorry, in the, in the civilized, civilized society, society, I think that is what is trending some, for some of them. But in the third world countries, mostly most uh, single moms are not single moms by choice. Secondly, as single moms, you should also understand that they are playing the roles of both the dad and the mom of the child. So at some time, they are playing the roles of daddies and some other points, they are playing the roles of mommy. And the most alarming and painful thing about our culture is that most times when uh, couples are not together, the men are usually not there for the kids. They either do it deliberately, maybe to hurt the lady, or for their ego's sake, for whatever reasons, the men are not there. So, and for when instance, I mean they are not there for their kids, they are not there for their kids in the sense that the kids of the one they had with that single lady is at the bottom of their priority. As in, it is when they have extra also that they remember the child, and they hardly do. But for the ladies, the child is their priority. And you see that the child is on the top of their scale of preference. And before they make any other move or before they decide anything, they put the child's interest first. I think it's not a good culture. I think if a, a man and you have a child with a lady, you should just make provision money. for the children. It will help the lady to be emotionally balanced. You know, most uh, ladies, they tend to have so much going on, so much stress. Because besides taking care of the kids, they have their other expenses, their other bills, rent especially, and other things going on. So before they snap at the child, they don't know it, and it's not intentional. So you want a child that is mentally and emotionally stable. So as much as possible, make the mother happy. When Number three is when they are playing the mother role, it's not easy for them, you know. That is why you see a lot of uh, kids, they get away with so many things that they should have been disciplined for. And the reason is after these women have gone to work, they are tired, they may not have the energy to start pushing their child. Take, for instance, what happened with my son and I this morning. I guess you, you, I'll give you a little clip of that right now. You know, I was trying to get him up to assist me to clean up the house, but he didn't. So I just conceived this video. I've had the mind to make this video a long time, but today just like kind of gave me an opportunity when I found myself trying to drag him to get up to go and work. So enjoy. So for that, I think you as the man, you should try as much as possible to be there for the child in terms of discipline, whether you are together with the lady or not. Try as much as possible to discipline the child. Try as much as possible to make your presence felt in the life of that child. It will go a long way to help the child and the home stable. It really feels good to have a clean environment. My window is clean. I've changed the curtain. I'm going to wash the previous one. It's really, really, really a good feeling. So as you can see from that other video, this single mom is also a cleaner. A, we are call it what do I call it now? Does a lot around the house, you understand? And um, it's not. It takes a lot to be able to balance all these. You know, you you are you are a worker. You have to be your best at work. You are a mother. You have to correct the children and discipline them. Then again, you have to clean the home make sure that everything goes home in the room uh, what do you call that there's a name there's a word i'm trying to think about the word will come up so it's it takes a lot for the lady to be balanced you know because women are able to multitask doesn't mean they are not human beings they cannot get tired that they cannot they don't have feelings or emotions no or they are machines rather they are not you know so like 
these kids, I had to clean my window today and it's been dirty for a long time. And they, they don't, the kids, whether they are grown or not, most of the time they don't take the initiative to do work around the house. And you find out that you have to push them to do it and it takes a lot of energy. And you see, at the end of the day, the mothers end up doing what the kids could have done, otherwise have done. And it, it is not helping so the, the kids relationship in any way. emotional aspect. When people meet a single mom, they tend to feel that they can just have their way easily with them. No. Most single mom, to the best of my knowledge, I um, think speaking especially from my point so of view. So their kids is at the top of their priority list. If I thought a man would mean anything to a lady, a single lady, is because the man is adding to her or the kids' life positively. And so if you want to stay, no, no, be sure that you want to stay. So if you summarize the foregoing, taking to cognizance the fact that they are fathers, they are mothers, they are housekeepers. Yes, that was the word I was looking for. And you feel they have so much time on their hands and you call them to come and meet you up in a beer parlor for, for what? They don't have time. A single mother is averagely tired and she's looking for a time to rest. So anything that will not profit her, she doesn't engage in it. She, she spends her time wisely. So I get from the for going, I hope I covered every aspect, every area. When you see a single mom, you should be able to understand everything she has on her hand, everything she's going through, everything about her. And it, I, it may vary from one single mom to the other. But basically, I'm asking you, when you see a single mom, be nice and find a way to make life easier for her, not make it worse, especially when it comes from the uh, baby daddies. Please, try to make life easy for her. If she's okay, your child is okay. So you don't have to make things difficult for her. Okay, so the single moms, they also feel that they need to, they deserve a time out, time to uh, relax and have fun. Yes, they do, and they do it once in a while. So it's not like something they do all the time. So sometimes, personally, I take a time out and I have fun, but there is a kind of fun that a single mom engages in and as much as possible you do it responsibly okay i want to use this medium to shout out and appreciate everyone that has been good and understanding and be there for single moms one way or the other i say god bless you and keep doing it and i hope that those that don't uh, understand they will understand by this video and try to make the world a better place by reaching out to single moms because they are holding the future of the society of the nation well brought you know, up kids, kids make better nation so the moms the single moms they are important take care of them even if they are housewives they are still having most of all these uh, situations i've mentioned be good to them be nice thank you so much for watching my video please if you have not subscribed press the subscribe button and thumbs up the video